All right, now that I'm not sending this to the engine shop anymore, uh, this is loosely assembled, but I've got to take it all apart, make sure the timing is right in the timing gears, uh, and then replace the seals while I'm at it, and build it back up and get all the timing sorted. This will come apart pretty easily because I've already taken it apart once. And when I put it back together, I didn't time it because I knew the engine shop would have to pull it apart again. But now that that's not happening, uh, I gotta set the timing correctly. I'll show you how to do that. Now, first of all, I gotta take off the vacuum pump and the power steering pump behind it. Those don't need timing, they're just pumps, they're fine. So those will come out. They have gears in them, but as I said, they don't need to be timed. So that's one less thing to worry about. Alright, this is the idle pulley, uh, and that's spring-loaded. There's actually three separate gears that are kind of spring-loaded together. Now, when you pull these gears off, you've got to make sure you put a bolt in that idle pulley, just like that. Otherwise, it'll unspring, and you've got to make a new tool to kind of cock it back together. So, really important you don't forget that. Uh, and when you reassemble it, it gets in the way of the timing cover, so there's no way you can forget to take it out either. All right. Now I'll pull this pump off, because I've got to reseal the back of it. All right, I'm just going to clean off all this old gasket maker as well. All right, you can see that one one near my thumb and that five near my pinky. Now that corresponds to a one and a five five on this gear. So you want the number one between these two number ones on the oil pump gear. And then that number five between the two fives on this idler pulley. So two two and a two here and they're lined up correctly. So that's where we start and then we slip this gear on so that it lines up with this, and then we can spin that at the same time, make sure they line up, and then we can do the gear on the fuel pump to match this and that gear. I'll show you a close up once it's all correct. All right, so it's time to put the fuel pump in. I'll seal the back of that up. There's an O-ring that you can replace, but I don't have any replacement ones, so I'm just gonna make it work. Alright, I thought I'd just stop the video here real quick because this is the most important part and if you get it wrong, you'll seize your engine. Now bear with me uh, and listen up. Here is the camshaft and the relevant camshaft gear. You can see this is a straight cut gear because the teeth on the gear are at a right angle to the gear itself. Now there's also a keyway in here and a corresponding wood rough key that would normally live in the camshaft. And that's what's going to align these two and make them spin together. Now, why this is different on the fuel pump is this gear actually has a tapered center and that's because the shaft on the fuel pump is wider at the bottom than it is at the top. Now we still got the wood rough key to worry about. Now the thing is you'll be so focused on aligning the numbers on the gear because this is a helical gear. You can see how these, fucking focus I swear to God, you can see how these Grooves are on an angle compared to the ones on this camshaft gear that are straight. So that makes it tricky to align the numbers with the relevant gears on the balance shaft and on the idler pulley. So what I'm saying is you'll be so focused on that that you're not paying attention to this slot that's meant to accept the wood rough key on this. And you can actually get these completely misaligned and still have enough room to thread the bolt on. I'll show you a close up. Okay, so now we can clearly see the wood rough key is here. And it's actually possible, let's say this is just, just for the sake of the example, this is completely wrong. You can see how the threads would pop out here. 
and then the gear would mesh with the rest of the gears and kind of hold it steady so that you might be so excited that you've got all the numbers to line up that you just slam this bolt on and tighten it down and it's actually going to feel pretty normal you're actually going to assume you've done it right so you really want to get your eye over the top view dead on get some light into this little slot on the gear and actually make sure it's properly engaged with that wood rough key if you pay attention to that you'll uh, you'll have no issues whatsoever now if you don't pay attention to that what's going to happen is this gear is going to spin with the rest of the gears but because that slot and that wood rough key aren't engaged with each other everything in the engine will be spinning except the fuel pump and then you'll be getting no fuel into the engine and that is the quickest way to kill a diesel engine now I don't want to panic you or alarm you or scare you away from doing this I just really want to make sure you get it right pay attention and you'll be fine Go. We've just redone our RTV and that's all nice and clean. New cam seal. Ready to chuck this on. Alright, washer goes on the back for the pulley. Alright, this gear will only go on one way. There's four bolt holes and one locating pin. There's a mark on the gear, a mark on the belt, and a mark on the backing plate. They're all in a line. Now the mark on the belt marks with the gear at the back, and then there's an arrow in the case here, and they all line up. And we've lined up the gears. So all that's left to do is put the tensioner on, tighten everything down properly, and then we'll turn it over by hand. And if anything binds up, we've made a mistake somewhere, but I'm confident we haven't. All right, so here's our hydraulic tensioner. Now we need to put a pin through that hole and that hole. Just put it in a vise and clamp down slowly. Uh, it doesn't matter how quickly you turn your vise. This is only gonna, this is gonna fight back. So just wind it in slowly, put a locking pin through them, and then we'll bolt it up and pull the pin back out. Come on, focus, you fuck. All right, there we go. I used a drill bit, that's all I had. Anyway, we'll bolt this on. Alright, now you want to rip this out as quick as you can, basically. Just 
give it a quick yank. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I've hit the engine stand at the back with a flywheel bolt. Still rolling? Alright, now it's the moment of truth. There we go, and our timing marks line back up again, so that means we've done it right. Alright, might as well tighten that crank pulley and then put the rocker cover on.